Hi folks, looking at the lost success. <clears throat> and you might wonder what the what the hell? Well if you recall, uh I had mentioned late last year that we would look at uh three different battles at a fairly tactical level. Uh sorry, three different titles for one battle at a fairly tactical level. And the three titles that we chose, the first one was the uh the Vivictus uh, system out of the magazine, which uh, I think you've probably all seen the replay by now. It's out on the web and there's video and uh, I don't think I did an AAR per se. Um, a written one. I do have lots of images I probably need to pop up there for you to have a look at. It's uh, quite a pretty little game and enjoyed some of the mechanics but found uh, it the system uh, not feeling my needs necessarily 100% uh, at, that I was uh, hoping for. And so the second title that we're going to look at is, the uh, I mentioned here, The Last Success. And this has four battles, so it's a quadri game. Uh, and we are going to look at, again, uh, Aspern Essling. And this is just a 21st through 22nd May uh, title uh, game. And uh, I've already... Uh, I've read the rules for uh, other the higher level uh, systems here, and this, these rules are very similar. Although they do add some cards into the game, which I think we may as well try just for the heck of it. So we've got the rules of play, fairly straightforward stuff. I'm not going to do a, like a box opening or anything, but I did want to show you um, the map, uh, and I've got this here in the sunlight just because you know because we can because we've got cameras that can deal with the light. And uh, let's see, what was I interested in? This bottom corner is obviously where a lot of the action happens. So let's open this up a little bit. And so you can kind of see the, the Danube River here, and Essling in the uh, middle there, and Aspern further north. So a fairly, uh, I think we're doing uh, 500 meters a hex, I want to say, something like that, or 425, thereabouts. And uh, I think this is going to be interesting to see how this plays compared to the other. And the third title we'll look at is, of course, the Napoleon Brigade system or Nap Napoleonic uh, Battle System from MMP or the Gamers. And that I chose to do that last because it's going to take the longest. Uh, it's a, I think it's a... I think that's a two mapper. I'm not sure. I'd have to check, and it and it uh, it, it just has a fairly granular time scale of uh, 15 or 20 minutes a turn, and this is fairly detailed as well. This is 20 a turn. I'm not sure. I've forgotten. Let's see what the back of the box says. Doesn't say. Yeah, it is 525 and one hour turns. There you go. So whoa. So let me. Four times the difference in time scale, but uh, almost the same scale. I think the uh, well, we'll deal with the the Aspen Essling title from the gamers later, uh, but we'll focus on this for now. I wanted to show you this because I'm going to start punching and clipping and getting it all squared away, ready to play. I will be uh, rereading the rules, and then you can expect to see the first uh, moves and reports probably in a week or two. I've cleared my game table, and uh, we have just a couple of titles uh, floating around on Vassal and my big, uh, the big game of Case Blue, going. So it's time to get some uh, good Napoleonics up and and uh, have some fun. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Look forward to playing this with you. And uh, anyone who has played this game, uh, please feel free to chime in on uh, things to be aware of and uh, things to take uh, note of uh, prior to uh, jumping into this. Thanks.